In this video, we'll model the first floor of a two-story house and make layers. Import a raster file of the first floor. Make sure to import it as an image. And click into place. Next, size it based on a known entity. I'm sizing the exterior door three feet wide. And that resizes the whole model. Explode the image and make it a group. Draw a rectangle over the floor. It starts to flash, but once you turn on face style x-ray, that goes away. Then push-pull up the shell of the exterior walls. I'm making them 20 feet, the height of the second floor. Erase the roof. Then group the walls so that you have one shell. Next, make layers to put the different building components on. Click the plus sign a few times and then rename each layer. One for the raster file, one for the exterior walls shell, and one layer for the interior walls. Then move the components to those layers by selecting, right-clicking, choosing Entity Info, and then putting them on their respective layer. Verify that that took by calling up the Entity Info box again and making sure that the right layer showed up instead of layer 0. Now make a guideline at the top of the first floor ceiling. I'm placing it at 10 feet and then I'm drawing guidelines around the whole perimeter. Now we want to look at a top view so go to camera parallel projection and click the top view icon. This way we can draw the walls and just draw the walls as single lines. SketchUp works best when you use single faces instead of double faces for walls. Or at least it's easiest to do it this way. Put the perspective view back on. Hide the exterior walls by unchecking their visible box and then move the walls down to the floor. Move them straight down along the blue axes. Now model the walls using the guidelines as the ceiling height. Once you draw a wall, you don't have to draw it again. Just copy it, double click it so that you can select the face and its boundaries and then copy it with move and control. I'm copying it to this wall even though it's too short. I'll fix that by selecting one edge and then moving it to the desired length. Now draw the rest of the walls. Delete the guidelines. Turn on the exterior walls and turn off the x-ray. And there you have it. If you want to put the interior walls on their own layer, that's done the same way. First select them all. This can be tricky because other faces tend to get selected in the process, so hold the shift key down and deselect them. Then group and put them on their own layer via the Entity Info box. 
you know you've done it correctly when you can turn that layer off and see that all the interior walls are gone.